pretend Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you, and I have been in Copenhagen for a couple of days. It's probably my fourth time now being in Copenhagen, so I thought I would talk a little bit about it. Maybe I can talk a little bit about the differences between Sweden and here, or I might save that one for another video. I haven't completely decided, but I wanted to at least say that Copenhagen is only a couple hours by train for me, so it's always nice to kind of go there, and I really do find Copenhagen so drastically different than any city that I've seen in, in Sweden. The things that really strike out to me in the city is I just love how they utilize uh, bikes. It just seems like such a paradise for bikes. I, I, I just imagine to myself how awesome it must be to be like 15 years old or even younger and being able to just ride around the whole city on your bike and, and know exactly where you want to go. I just I love that whole aspect of the city. And for me, because there's so many people on bikes, but also in cars, the traffic seems to move less fast. And I know that's just mentally to me maybe how I see it, but I find it... The city as a whole has a really awesome way of just seeming very, very relaxed. It seems like everybody's going where they're going, but nobody's in a major hurry. And of course, I'm, uh, this time I was there over the weekend, but I like that kind of feeling. So it feels like a very calm, relaxed place. I took a fika there, by the way, and I was just thinking, I don't even know if they have the word fika in, in, in Danish or not. Uh, but it was interesting because certain words in Swedish and Danish mean something completely different. So for example, in in Fructos is like how we would say breakfast in Swedish, but it's lunch in Danish, which is kind of interesting to see, unless I was reading into that in a wrong wrong way. Uh, but I found that to be very interesting as well. So I, overall, I just find uh, Copenhagen to be a relaxed city. It's, it's fun for me to go. It's very easy to walk around, and the public transportation is awesome. And just to go into as much as how great it is that technology has changed, I was able to... Uh, use just having the internet we've talked about this I had a previous one where I talked about being able to use your internet but it's a game changer for traveling uh, if there's like no reason to really be even be nervous to travel anymore because how convenient it was is uh, my girlfriend and I were able to check um, how to get tickets right on our phone right then and there and then we just got right on the bus we had the tickets on our phone we didn't have to talk to anybody like when I usually travel I'd have to like then talk to someone information as soon as I got to the train station, uh, get lost and not get lost. And part of the travel and part of the fun is getting lost, but I find the older I get, it was so nice to just, uh, again, get the tickets, have my map right there. We never got lost. You could just still walk and explore, but then you could go back to find the things. I found it to make things my trip much more time efficient. So I'm so happy to be able to uh, utilize technology when I travel as well. Um, so that was very, very nice. I, I got a lot of walking in. I was able to kind of mentally shut off my brain a little bit and relax, which has been a lot, a lot of fun. So that's the main thing. Uh, it was awesome. Also, the, the main difference this time from last time is just going through security checkpoints now in Sweden. Is that you have the police go on board and they check your uh, ID. And, uh, you know, that that's, that was another thing that was just kind of different, but uh, was fine. I didn't mind. I had all my paperwork, but that's something I didn't remember. And... All in all, it was a really fantastic trip. Had a great time. And I just wanted to check in with you guys to say that I'm still here. I'm happy I've had a couple new subscribers come to the channel. And maybe I can go into in the future, like I said, the differences between all the people. But I just wanted to check in with you guys, tell you my experience. The main That was the main takeaway I took away from. It's just like if you want to relax for a couple of days, um, you know, Copenhagen's a very nice city to do it in. I guess the only city I, I can compare it to, not even by looks, but by calmness, you know, I would say I would say Gothenburg to me is a very calm city in Sweden as well. So, I hope you enjoy this one. If you guys ever want to support me, you can find my social media links below. You can like, share, and subscribe on my videos as well. And I always love reading your comments to see what you guys suggest. I, I can't always listen to it. I mean, I apologize this time for not going in, taking pictures of myself in Copenhagen. I just kind of wanted to talk about my experience. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.